Did we get them heavy metal horns up for Christian Hanser coming in with this one? And I need you to be with me. I need you guys to be with me on this journey. I need you to be on this journey with me right now until the very last seconds of this video because this song is 12 minutes long. We are doing periphery today. And uh, hold on, now I'm now I'm uh, farting the, the name of the song there that we were going to do. Oh yeah, Dracul Gras. And it's 12 minutes long. Now I'm not saying, I'm down, baby. I am down, but I'm just saying, I need you to be down. I need you to hang it on and, and do it with me. Can you do this ride with me? We're going to learn about periphery and then we're going to listen to the song Dracul Gras for the very first time right here on the channel. So let's do it now. Periphery. Big numbers here. They got 699,933 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams all come from a new record, latest album, uh, Periphery 5. Degent is not a genre. And it looks like all five of the jams right now are coming from that. Uh, Atropos in the number one slot with 1.3 million plays. You got Wildfire, 2.3 million plays. Wax Wings has 831,000 plays. Everything is fine. 697,000 plays. Zagreus. Z-A-G-R-E-U-S. Zagreus. 1.6 million plays. Uh, let's look into them albums and see what's going on. The Periphery 5 and out of the corner of my eye I saw like these guys are kind of digital p folks or something. You got Periphery comes out in 2010. Icarus 2011. Periphery do. 2012, you got Clear, Judgment Alpha, uh, you got ju uh, or Juggernaut Alpha, Juggernaut Omega, Periphery 3, uh, Periphery 4, Hell Satan, Live in London in 2020, and then this brand spanking new record that came out in 2023 called Periphery 5, Degent is not a genre where that song is coming from. So that's what they've released. Degent, that's just the noise, right? Degent. That's what I always thought it was. I... But you're talking to a guy that doesn't know anything. Uh, now what we're going to do is look into the related artists. This will take us down a rabbit hole of other bands to check out. Perhaps the periphery's been, periphery's been on the road. They've been on the road with these kinds of bands. Give us an idea of the genre. If they're on playlist, these bands are probably with periphery. Oh yeah, you got Tesseract. So we know we're in for some stuff. Oh yeah, Animals as Leaders. We've done them, done both of them on this channel. Uh, Sicketh, remember? Uh, textures. He got uh, Vildehart, Harta, Vil Vildarta, Vildarta. Uh, Protest the Hero, we've done them on the channel. These guys are going to be some stuff, right? Fell Silent, you got Between the Buried and Me, Scale the Summit. You got Mo Monuments, we've done them on the channel. After the Burial, yes, we've done a first listen to them. Cloud Kicker, so there are the related artists for the band. Now what we're going to do, ever so briefly and quickly, is we look at the uh, look into the bio. Then, I promise you guys, we're getting into this 12-minute jammer. Uh, and you got some dudes here. It's a very stylish image. They say, the guys, just stand there. And, and uh, uh, they do look like they could be Amazon drivers, but they are not. They are some rock and roll dudes. And they're saying, Shane, we're about ready to come over and kick you right square in the old ass if you don't stop calling us Amazon drivers. With a sound that pushes out the boundaries of progressive metal, Periphery are at the front of the Degent movement, utilizing detuned extended range instruments to create a sound that as, that's as technically dizzying as it is heavy, joining in with the uh, growing ranks of artists who are taking the framework laid down by bands like Meshuggah and running with it, running wild with it. Uh, emerging in 2005, the group I issued their acclaimed eponymous debut in 2010, but really hit the stride when the double LP Juggernaut 2015 and the diverse Periphery 3 select difficulty 2016, uh, the latter of which earned them a Grammy nomination for Best Metal Performance. It's always Best Metal Performance. It's never Best Song, Best Album, Best, you know. That's what the Grammys give, give metal artists is best performance in a music video. There you go. There's your, there's your props, pal. Um, all right, it is that time. It is that time. We're getting into this now. We're going to do it. And we got to hit this button sooner than later. 
Um, Dracul Gras, we do it now. Um, this is the magic boom boom. I give you a taste, I take a taste, we listen to the song Dracul Gras. Here we go, let's do it. They can do this for a while. It's 12 minutes. It's like what Yes would sound like if they were a metal band. Minus the growling. Love the sound of that snare. Like that. Boy, that drummer. Well, that's nice. Twelve-minute mosh pit, man. That'll break your balls. These guys are not bad at all. If I could play drums this good, this would be a fun damn band to play in. This is why you get people that stand and they just soak it in. Piano interlude. That explains a bit of it. If you can have a beautiful piano interlude. The drummer's gonna come in laying some sweet shit, you know it, right here. I like that. As he on his own. It's a good riff. Drinking a, drink, drinking a bottle of blood? Nice!
Only thing that would have been cooler than this right here, saxophone doing this part. Nice and big and full and guitar tones nice. I'm happy that they got vocals. To be honest, after I see animals as leaders, you go, uh oh. This right here kind of gives me a bit of a Faith No More-ish kind of a vibe to it, you know? Something I could see Mike Patton doing. I think I saw something about a drum playthrough of this song. I'm not going to watch that. I like it. I like it. I like it. This is the jam, huh? It's not a genre, bro. It's not a genre. Premature on that one. Let's take a look and see how long this is, where we're at in the song. Four minutes. Four minutes. I ain't gonna lie. We're almost through this thing and it doesn't feel like we've been here for 12 minutes. At least not to me. They're gonna let bro just drum it for the last two minutes. These guys are damn good. Let's go tool on them.
Okay. Oh, there's still two minutes left. I feel like this part is gonna bleed right over into that other song, the last, the next song. Sounds like 80s retro digital synth. It's like they just tied you to the back of a car and dragged you for seven miles. And now they're putting your they're they're putting your carcass on some cotton candy at the end of the oh. We might have to check out the video. Do they have a six minute video? All right, I get on the treadmill to this ship. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna go into it. This, this is the heart of me, I'm never gonna lose how I Is that Katy Perry? This is the last song you play at your show, right? Then you let this and you turn the lights on and you leave. Leaves everybody in a good mood. I would walk 500 miles and I walk. We will. You watch, they're gonna hit you with something. Last two seconds of this thing, it's gonna go. <laughs> I feel accomplished. And right there, it goes into, thanks, Nobu. Is that where those uh, Jar Jar Binks and those guys lived, is in Nobu? Thanks, Nobu, for giving us Jar Jar Binks. We appreciate that. Uh, that was, uh, I feel accomplished. I feel like we did something here. I think we really, if you watch this from the beginning to the very end with me, and you're still watching now, I feel like we've been through something together. And it was a good something. But what say you? That's the most important part of my videos is where you get in the comments and tell me exactly what you think of Periphery and what you think of the song. You say, Shane, you just hold your ass for a minute because I may have a different opinion than you. And I'm going to tell you right now. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I'm a massive fan of Periphery. I've seen them. How many times have you seen them? 10, 5, 2, what? Uh, all time favorite record. You say, hands down, Shane, you got to check out these videos. You got to check out these songs from this band. What's your all time favorite album? Your all time favorite songs. Uh, what's the, what the, the uh, um, what's the album you're going to be, have cremated with you and shot to Mars? Which, what, which album's that going to be? Uh, let's get into the DeGent conversation down there and fill me in on all of that. Because I still don't know exactly what that means other than that sound. Dijin, dijin. Um, or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, I fell asleep halfway through, so I apologize for that. But I'll tell you what, the stuff that I listened to, I didn't care for. It was not my cup of tea, then I fell asleep and I woke up just in time to tell you this right now. Don't want it, don't need it, I am out of here. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know, don't you know. If you would like to see your request on the channel, it's a very simple thing to do. And in fact, it's so simple that I say it at the end of every single one of my videos. So guess what? I'm not going to do it this time. I'm not going to do it. It feels weird. But that's it. I'm swinging out and I'm loving you so much. <laughs> this is fun. <sighs> Periphery. Oh.